And welcome back. Well, does the idea of filling out your taxes freak you out? If so, you're not alone. The IRS reports that more than half of Americans admit tax time stresses them out. Does me. It's only getting more complicated by those people that have uh, had to have a refund in their um, a delay to their refund. So here to help us sort it all out is Jennifer Voss, a tax professional with H&R Block. Thanks for being here, Jennifer. Thank you for having me. It's fun. It, 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 taxes are fun, <laughs> right? Taxes are fun. <laughs> Don't get scared. <laughs> but I think what, what helps is being educated, understanding Absolutely. what this year means for you. So let's yep. talk a little bit about what's new this tax season for, mm -hmm. for people filing. Yep, the PATH Act is big this year. Mm -hmm. um, PATH Act is it was passed on by Congress, so the IRS was prohibited from starting certain tax return refunds okay. to protect Americans. So those who would claim the earned income tax credit and or the additional child tax credit, the IRS couldn't even start processing that return until February 15th. Oh. On February 15th, they began processing those returns, and deposits are expected the week of the 27th. So that's why they were being withheld. So yep. a lot of people knew that they'd have a delay in their refund until yes. February 15th. That's why. That's when they can start the processing. That's not when they get the deposit. Gotcha. Okay, good to know. So what should taxpayers do if they expect that refund, uh, that their refund will be delayed? Well, there's a couple of things that they can do. Mm -hmm. um, the first thing is, with H&R Black, we offer this pro uh, program called Refund Advance. It's an advance on your refund. Okay. So when your refund gets processed, through the IRS, it pays off the zero interest loan that you're provided. So is it the full amount of what your refund would be or you a portion? Can, it's a portion. You can get up mm -hmm. to $1,250 okay. towards your or offsetting your tax refund. The other option taxpayers can do is kind of follow where the refund process is on irs.gov on where's my refund. And you said if they do take a tax in, uh, refund advance, it's interest free? It's interest free and it's paid off when the IRS finishes your processing your refund. That's really helpful. Yes. I think a Some lot families need that. Really depend on that refund. Yeah. I mean, and that can help pay, you know, for the mortgage or the groceries or what may, you know, yep. what it may be that month. Um, what are some common mistakes people make? Because I think taxes are confusing. A lot of people try and do them at mm -hmm. home yes. and they lose out on money that they could be getting in yes. their refund yes. just because of simple mistakes. So what do you see as most common? Um, uh, what we try and do is educate taxpayers on what's coming up next. So mm -hmm. most people go through a traditional life cycle, different changes. Life changes such as getting married, buying a house, having a baby, sending children off to college, heading into retirement, these can all impact your tax return. Mm. And if you do them incorrectly, you can leave money on the table. Yeah. So we talk, we talk about people with people, this is what you can expect next mm -hmm. to kind of set them up. Um, one of the biggest mistakes that we see come through in our office is people are picking the wrong filing status. Hmm. Which limits then what tax? You mean like the number that you choose, or are you the single, do married, single, whatever? Single, married, married joint, married separate, uh, had a household. Mm -hmm. Starting the tax return out with the incorrect filing status impacts what you're eligible for for credits and deductions, and can impact your tax bracket. Interesting. What about penalties? Because a lot of people have penalties uh, for not having health insurance. Yes, health insurance is still a big one. We get mm -hmm. lots of questions on it. <coughs> um, this year, if you are un an uninsured adult, it's six ninety five per uninsured adult in your household. It's half of that for an uninsured child, mm -hmm. up to $2,085 or, or two and a half percent of your household income, whichever is greater. Wow. So the good news, well, let me give you an example first. Uh -huh. If you have a family of four, say $60,000, mm -hmm. you could be looking at a, a potential penalty over $2,000. On the That's flip side, tough. yeah. On the flip side, there are over two dozen um, exemptions you can apply for, and your tax professional helps you through those. Are you finding that a lot of people, even with the marketplace, still just mm -hmm. aren't jumping on their their health opportunities? Um, I'm still seeing a lot of people kind of confused about: Do I should I do marketplace? Should I do this yes. option? What forms do I need? Do mm -hmm. I get a 1095A, a 1095B, a 1095C? So there's still lots of questions. I think it's because it's still new in the life cycle Absolutely. of having that on your tax return. Yeah, and it's just confusing. Yeah. You know, and to think about, you know, all that money is just the what tough. if. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, what about what do you see other other than that? Like you like to tell people when they come in to H and R block and they say, Hey, this is what I've got, you know, like what should they come with in their appointment? Do they come with all with receipts? Do they come with all their returns? What's the best way to prepare for a meeting? Uh, well we do a couple of different things. If you're brand new to H and R block, we will tell you please bring in the last three years worth of tax returns, okay. we will double check those for free. Really? Bottom line, make sure you didn't leave any money on the table. Mm -hmm. If you elect to amend those returns, let's say we found you an extra $500, we walk you through the process, this is how we can amend the return and how you get your $500, et cetera, in that example. Mm -hmm. We also tell people, let's walk through, are you sure you have everything, your W-2s, your 1099s, um, if, you're, did you, if, if you had a new baby, did you bring in new, new baby's social security card? Because mm -hmm. we need that number. Okay. And we walk through the education process of this is where, we, where you are, 
this is what's next mm -hmm. in your life cycle financially. Will you help people who haven't filed in the last few years? Absolutely. If you're required to file, we will be more than happy to help you. If you're not required to file, we'll be honest and tell you you're not required to file. I think that's so helpful. Yeah. It's, you know, because people are sometimes, it, it's embarrassing taxes when you haven't yeah. dealt with them or you don't know what to do. Yeah. So I think just having somebody on your side who can say, yeah. hey, I'll hold your hand. I'll help you through it. Let's yeah. just get you on track. Kind of desensitize from the fear. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And you can get a lot of money back too. Absolutely. So here's how you can contact H&R Block for more information, hrblock.com or call toll free at 1-800-HR-BLOCK. Thanks so much for being here, Jennifer. Thanks for I appreciate letting me come. Mm -hmm. All right.